Lots of reasons why geo-blocking exists, but not a single good one. Geo-blocking essentially separates people from getting to the content they want, but there's a way to fix that. Today, I'm going to let you know what is geo-blocking, how and why it operates, and most importantly, explain to you how to deal with it. But for more content like this, visit our channel and don't forget to leave a like if you liked the video. So why? Why does geo-blocking exist? In simple words, to protect. Not to protect you. Hell no! Geo-blocking protects copyrighted content. Stuff that is only licensed in certain countries. Sometimes services that need to establish regional prices resort to geo-blocking. Legally speaking, there's no issue, but it's not fair to all users. Ultimately, geo-blocking has a legit purpose. Even YouTube geo-blocking is mostly justified. Unfortunately, it doesn't make it any less of a pain in the ass. Geo-blocking will try and often succeed to keep people from accessing content outside of their region. But what is geo-blocking in a technical level? How does it work? First, your IP address clearly traces back to the country, city, and sometimes even the general vicinity of where you live. Some websites or apps can also check your GPS location to ascertain you are in the right place. You can hide it by turning off GPS services or by using a GPS spoofer. And if you're using a service requiring payments, it can trace your location using your bank's registered location. While there's no good way to deal with a third factor, first and second can be fixed rather simply. To change your IP address, proxy and smart DNS were used for a very long time. But nowadays, platforms like Netflix do a damn good job at detecting proxies. Tor Network used to be a workable option as well, but not as much today. Not only is it slow, but you also can't choose which country's IP you are getting. However, VPNs combine the overburdening security of Tor with capabilities of proxies, both of two worlds, so to say. So as a result, we have a versatile service capable of bypassing geoblocks. It helps that most VPNs are in the constant development too. So when new geoblocking techniques rise up, VPN services come up with a solution. However, VPNs won't help you if the service you want requires proof of the residency or banking info. So keep that in mind. If you are interested to learn more about VPNs, check our channel for more videos and grab discounts from the link in the description. But enough talk, let's have a demonstration. Here I have NordVPN that I will use to access Netflix UK. I'll show the process step by step and if you want to follow me, you can get NordVPN's free trial by registering with an Android device. I'll start with downloading NordVPN. It's easy, takes just a bit of time and installation is straightforward. I log in with my account and you guys can use the trial or get NordVPN with a discount from the link down there. Then I'll connect to the server I want and head to Netflix. That said, Netflix remembers your location from cookies and cash, so I've cleaned it beforehand. And voila, I can bypass geoblocks and access Netflix UK easily. While it worked for me on the first try, some of the VPN IPs can be banned manually by Netflix. So you'll have to reconnect a couple of times before you get a valid IP, no problems. And if NordVPN doesn't quite interest you, there are a bunch of other VPNs that can do this job. Surfshark, Private VPN, Proton VPN, Viper VPN, Ivacy, etc. Each can be used on multiple devices, are quite fast and have a money back guarantee, so you can try them yourself. And if you'd like to buy them and want to save some money, we have exclusive deals you can peruse. So geoblocking is a legit way to keep some information confined within a specific region. It uses IP tracking and sometimes other measures to make sure nobody cheats the system. But with a VPN, geoblocking is not an issue. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you soon with another one.